Hi, it's me again with Corona Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this artwork, and it's it's already got some fuzzy lines around it, and they want to be able to, I guess they want to print it and cut it out and have an outline around it. This one, the outline is just on the outside, and then they mentioned that they want some uh, to take some of this out, and so I just contoured a little bit. I don't know what that little dot is. So this is just inside the edge. So here's the artwork. <clears throat> it's pretty small already. It's less than six inches tall. So I'm gonna set my nudge factor on four and I'm gonna hit the plus key on the keyboard and make a copy of it. I'm actually gonna do it over twice. I'm gonna take this and trace it. Trace bitmap, outline trace clip art, which I use about 99% of the time. And all this is doing is getting a kind of an object of it. So there it is, all the white's already gone. And we could actually remove that little dot in just a second. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to object, group and ungroup it. At this time, I'm gonna take away that white background. I would, I did not, I've already sent her the file, but I did not do that. We wouldn't want that, so what we're going to do, we're going to take the shape tool and maybe just delete this node, select those two nodes, right-click, and turn it into a line. Now it's ungrouped, so we can select, I'm going to get rid of the yellow box for just a second. We can select it all, and the boundary tool will come up. And now it's put a boundary around it. Now, if she wants to cut that out too, which I do not know, um, you could smart fill that section, move that over twice or three times, and left click, right click, and you have that cut out. Now, this is still pretty rough. Um, there's some parts in here that are just uh, not very good, but what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to get rid of that right there. I'm going to go to object, break the curve apart, and get rid of that dot. You might want to look around for some other thing. Now, if we select this all, go up to effects and contour, that would be your outline. Now I'm going to contour 0 0.01 to the inside with rounded corners, pretty important. It just barely makes a little contour. It actually makes it a little bit better. I'm gonna go up to object and break the contour apart. Now I'm gonna click on the inside contour and I can't really remember which ones are regular picture. <clears throat> we want the original picture and not the bitmap. So I'm actually gonna fill that, whoop. I'm actually gonna fill this in with blue and then nudge it over to there. You have to make sure you select it all and go right here to your intersect tool. Unsuccessful. Okay, tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna move this out of the way from those other items. Let's move it further away and make sure we select it all and go up to intersect. And now you can see it intersected it. So I could put that back and then that is your printable item. But then here's your contour. So what we're gonna take, we're gonna take this blue and we're gonna left click, right click in red and just nudge it over to original picture. And now you should have a cut line just on the edge is because we uh, intersected it with a smaller contour, it's already taken away the edge. I would do things like get rid of that right there prehand uh, before you did anything, kind of smooth it out a little bit. But that will cut out, and the red line is like right there on the edge. Now you could contour it again. Let's just move that out of the way. Let's contour it a little bit more. Go to object, 
brake contour apart. When you grab the inside, it's going to grab that. And now our contour is going to take out a little bit more bleed area, I believe what she called it. Now that dot is still there, but that's in the original. So, and you can, you can adjust that. Um, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's take our contour and move it down. And let's look at that black dot. It's going to be hard to get rid of that. Um, but what we can do, we could take this and just kind of move your uh, graphic up a little bit. I don't think anybody would notice. Now, when you do this, I'm actually going to delete those nodes and see what happens. Make it a little bit rounder. And then just, you could either recontour it again or just use that right there. See, we've got a little bit of color separation, so you'd probably want to uh, contour it again. But fix all that stuff first before prehand. It looks pretty good around the, you know, uh, flower on top of this hat. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.